Okay guys, I am making this tutorial specifically for my daughter. Hello, how are you? Um, it's because she came to me the other day and asked if she could have Blender and I said, why is that? And it was to do exactly this, uh, to make some Roblox graphics, uh, GFX, graphic effects for um, the game and for her thumbnail and her YouTube. So here we go. What you will need is Roblox Studio, Blender 2.8 and a Canva account. They're all free and I'll put the links in the description for all of those things. So uh, open up Roblox Studio, log into your account, go to a base plate and once that loads, click play and it will drop in your character. There it is. And you can use the WASD keys as usual to uh, move around. But I'll rotate so I can see you right there. Come across to the work space on the right hand side. And then you can right click cut, or you can use control X on your keyboard. Stop that playing and control V or paste and paste that character in. And all we're gonna do is in the same spot, come and right click and go export selection. I'm going to save it into this folder and I'm going to call it cutie bear. Save. That is it for the uh, getting our character out of Roblox. Close this down and now I'm opening up Blender. Uh, right click on this cube, delete. You can also press X to delete. Come across to file, import Wavefront OBJ. Go ahead and find where you saved that OBJ. It would be named dot OBJ. Come across to geometry and click split by group, import OBJ. So now we have our character in. Uh, a few navigation tips. So if you middle mouse click, you can move around the character. Shift mouse click will move the window uh, and if you control right click it zooms in and out so middle mouse click rotating around come up to the right here and click this viewport shading that will shade our character with the right materials looking pretty good already uh, we want to now i guess position our character the way we like so in the right hand side we have all the different parts of our character but we can just come in and click the areas there. So if I want to move this, this tool over here is a transform tool and I can just drag that around and it'll move uh, the limbs around. But what I want to do first is select all of these, come to object, set origin, origin to center of mass. So now what that's done has is it's put the origin in the center of my object. So now if I want to move this arm up, so I, I want to select the top of the arm, shift, select the next bit, keep holding shift, then the hand. And I'm going to select this part to rotate the arm. So rotate it like that. And if I want to move it, I'm going to select this arrow to move it up. I'm going to rotate around and then I'm going to select this arrow to move it a bit forward maybe a bit up again and a view rotate and there we go and I'm going to do the same for the other side select this green to rotate it on that angle and select that arrow to pull it up and it's going to move around and just move that forward a little bit and come to the front so she looks pretty happy happy with that uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the lighting. So I've got my shaded view and I quite like it. Uh, what I want to do when we go to render, it's going to render in this view. So I clicked up here and it's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do first is select that light. I'm going to turn it off so now you can see there's no lighting at all I'm going to come across to shading and we can see our character here 
I'm going to select, select the render window as well. Now come across to world down here and click add texture environment texture. I'm going to open. If you look into your blender program file and in data files, studio lights world, I'm going to choose the forest.exr and then I'm going to connect that to the surface. So now it has put that uh, environment light around. You see it is exactly the same lighting as the previous one, but now that's in our render setting, so it's all good. So if we go back to layout, um, I don't want to be able to see it in the background. So let's come up to the render properties window and down to film, select transparent. So now it's gone. And I'm going to come to my light I'm going to turn that back on. Now, if you want to move your light, it's the same transform tools. You can see that's affecting it there. I might move it up a little bit, but I'm pretty much happy with where, where it is. The last thing to do is uh, get my camera set. So this tool over here will show me where the camera is looking. If I get this little arrow and drag it out the, here, it will show me a little tab with view. Come to lock camera to view. So now if I use these same moving tools, the camera is locked to my move and I can move it around using the same navigation tools as I had been using before. So let me just line it up how I might like it. Let's just go something like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, and it's nice and bright. It's, my position is good and I'm just going to render this now. So I just go up to the tab render, render image, and boom, it is done. That's how fast it is. Come to image, save as, and then just go find where you want to save your file to. Let me just call it cutiebear.png. Um, and just want to make sure these properties are .png, RGBA, that's so the alpha, the transparency will save. And these are my settings there. So save image as, and that should be done. So close that down. We are done with um, Blender. But if you want to save the file, just go save as, and then find the place where you want to save it to. And then you can save your Blender file. So the last part of our graphic is to bring it into Canva and finish it off. So create design up in the top right hand side. You can search for a YouTube thumbnail, but I've got it right here. I'm going to select it. It loads in. Um, my canvas is pretty big. I'm going to click down here and make it 100%. So that's the actual size of my screen. I'm going to come to photos and I've got a recently used one here. I'm going to use that. But if you can search for sky, you can choose any of these background photos or even just have a plain colored background if you like. I'm going to just drag that out really big. Maybe put it in the background like that. Then I'm going to come to my uploads, click upload an image, go and find that cutie bear render that you did. Once it's uploaded, I can then just select it and it's going to place it on top, drag out the sides. And because I've got transparency here, I can drag this side in and then drag out the height. Beautiful. Maybe I want her to come off the edge a little bit there. And then I'm just going to add some text. So there is heaps of text options here. I'm going to put in a heading first and I'm going to put in a subheading and I can put that at the top and then I'm going to get control C, control V, uh, sorry, select the text, control C, control V to paste another one in. And then I can drag that down to the bottom. So what I'm going to say is my title is how to make a Roblox GFX and 
it's going to be beginner tutorial. So now I want to get a style for um, this font. And what I like to do is, is all these different styles. Just scroll down, find something that you like. And, you know, for example, I think I came down and I found maybe this one. You just select it, it will drop it in. And then you can just click and find out what font is used there. So in the middle here, it's League Spartan and it will tell you which font. Select that uh, type I did there, select the font up there, and then just type in, in the search, League Spartan. And there you have it. So let me just delete these now that I don't need them. Select off, select delete. And I think I just know I made these fonts. Uh, this one was Cooper Hewitt, I think. Let me put that in. Cooper Hewitt, and I think I had it on bold. Let's drag this in, make it a bit bigger. This one needs to be a lot bigger. Yeah, let's put it there and go across, that's fine. Uh, let's change the color, up here is the color. Um, just a light pink, but what I want is an effect on it. So click the effects, come to neon. I'm going to bump that neon effect right up. I'll come back to the color. Let's make it a custom color by selecting there. And there, so it has this sort of neon glow on it. And the last font I used was Sacramento. S-A-C, Sacramento. Let's drag that in and make it a lot bigger as well. And let's change the color of that. As well. And that is pretty much it. Once you have done all your changes and you're ready, just come up here and click download and download. My daughter would love a follow on her channel. I'll leave a link here, but her Roblox is also uh, XX Cutie, Cutie Bear Plays, sorry, XX, uh, if you're into that type of thing and you like, if you love Roblox, I'd love to see uh, what you make with it. See you later, guys. Bye.